Okay, I did a poll on my Instagram of what video you guys wanted to see next. And um, the most requested video was a furnished house walkthrough. Because um, I've got the walkthrough of the house when we bought it. And then the walkthrough after we painted and did a little bit of the remodel. But I don't have any kind of footage of um, the finished product. Or, I mean, you know, is it ever finished? But, uh some film of it being furnished and lived in so that's what we're gonna do um i'm gonna film some and then cody's gonna film me some just kind of showing y'all our house now that we've lived in it for a couple months so okay so i'm gonna start in our laundry room this is where we started the other two times while cody gets his stuff together um so he can help me but the laundry room's so small it's just easier if I film it myself. So we redid the floors in here um and then we got our washer and dryer and then we took the cabinet doors off of those cabinets for quick access. We've got our bicycle stuff up there and just some laundry detergent. And then we keep some of our like toilet paper and bathroom items in there. And then like dryer balls and stuff in that. And then our hangers over there. And then this is where we keep all of our tools and paint and stuff like that. And then I hope to build like a little shelf or something right there for shoes. But uh still trying to kind of, or trying to like figure out what i want to do there so shoes are right there so we redid this floor when we moved in and the laundry room was the bright yellow and i came in and did it white and then did the green to match the cabinets in the kitchen so and this is our kitchen um let's see in the kitchen we replaced the floor we put down this new flooring that Cody put down and then we took the cabinet doors off above the refrigerator here and I've got our appliances. Are those appliances? I think those are called appliances. Small appliances. Our small appliances up there and then our refrigerator and then this is like a broom closet. So we've got our brooms and mops in there and did all of that green, repainted everything white. The kitchen was the bright yellow color too so we repainted it white. Um, it already had these granite countertops, so we just left them the same. Uh, we're fixing to go on a trip, so you're going to notice there's like random piles of stuff everywhere, and that's what we're getting we're packed up and ready. So, anyways, the countertops were granite, and then I came back and um, in the drawers did the drawers green to match the laundry room, and then that also matches the interior part of the cabinets. We removed the doors off of these because I really liked exposed cabinets. And then we put our mugs hanging up in here because I collect mugs. So those are our dishes, um, just things with quick access. Uh, and then I painted all of the interior of the lower cabinets the green as well. Um, and then everything white. And then if you want to come this way, this was the um, the built-in like china cabinet thing, and I showed it in our first video, and it had double doors up here, and then the microwave was here, and then this was two drawers and cabinets that weren't accessible. They were all sealed shut because of the dishwasher. So I came back and um, painted all the interior green. And Cody did an awesome job of kind of reconfiguring it. He took off the doors, cut out the drawers. Was that shelf in there? The shelf was in there, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the shelf was in there. And then he just <clears throat> gutted all of this out. And it makes a perfect pantry. So we've got all of our pantry items up here. And then I found these at the Dollar Tree. And it was just super cute to have Cody and Sky's snacks. And then my snacks on this side. And then we've got all of our jars and we keep everything in like jars and airtight containers. And then on this wall, this is the back of the fireplace in the dining room. So we just put up a few cute little things. Um, this came from the thrift store, all these things. This came from the thrift store. And then this was actually a piece of wood that I found. It's just Scott trying to get in. Someone's at the door. Okay. This is a piece of wood that I found at the thrift store. And then I uh, vinyled it. And then I vinyled our little trash can and recycling thing. Let me go let Sky in. Alright, I had to go let Sky in. But um so that's this wall and then over here this was just a cute little thing that I found at the thrift store here our keys on and then walking backwards through the house we'll go into the dining room. Um, my nose is uh, 
So this is our dining room. So the dining room, whenever we pulled up the carpet, we realized that there was not the original hardwood floor under it. So Cody ran that um, laminate flooring through the dining room as well. And then this is a mirror that my grandmother had found and it was bright gold and I came back with this kind of like gray color over it. Um, these chairs were gifted from Cody's family and then this is our dining room table that my grandmother found as well and I stripped the top of it. It was kind of like that super shiny red orangey wood so I stripped and whitewashed it and um, we have it in here and then this is my stand-up desk. Um, this is like one of the very few things that we have purchased. Um, most everything, I would say probably 98% of the items in our house that we've either been gifted or I found on the side of the road or thrift stores and stuff. But this was one of the things that I did purchase and I love because my bicycle fits right up and underneath it. So I can ride my bicycle and do um, school work or just get work done in the mornings. And then I've got my dream catcher that my grandmother gifted me and then on this wall um cody has his office set up in here for right now till he gets his office built um in his building out back my office you mean my laptop and a keyboard <laughs> well <laughs> office but cody now works from home i think that was in one of the last videos but anyways cody now works from home <clears throat> but um he's got his guitars hung up here, and then these were cabinet doors off of our old entertainment center. Don't pull that. And then these are actually the glass doors that were on the pantry. So the double glass doors that I mentioned that were on the top of the pantry, that's actually what those were. And as I stripped them, we got to see how many times they had been painted, but I stripped them and put them up there. And then these are, um, cider bottles from Sweet Creek uh, Farmer's Market. They're cider bottles that I just stripped. And then our, my goal is to eventually have a succulent growing in there, but I gotta stop killing all of my plants. But um, over here on this fireplace, uh, they had all of the fireplaces sealed up and I pulled the covers off of them and they're beautiful fireplaces. So um, we painted it on the interior and cleaned it up and then painted the tile black you ready? Yeah. Okay. So we um, painted the tile black. Uh, the carpet covered up the, um, like, when they laid the carpet down, it covered up the entire, like, fireplace bottom and everything. So when we pulled it back, it was red, and it didn't really kind of go with the aesthetic we were wanting in here. So we um, went back and done it black, and then Cody did a great job of trimming it out in white. So that's our dining room. That's the original chandelier that came with the house, I'm sure it's not original to the house. What year was this house built? 1926. Okay, so it's, this, probably not, it's not original. Huh? It's not original. Well, yeah, but like, it was there when we bought yeah. the house. So the house is Nuda. from the 20s. But anyway, so that's our dining room. And then we'll go into Sky's bedroom. Okay, so this is Sky's room. She still has an air mattress in here, which she does not even remotely sleep on. Um, she just kind of sleeps where she falls. But um, over here is her homeschooling area. If you want to walk in, I can shut the door. Um, we're going to be homeschooling this year for K-5. We did last year for K-4. So we're trying to do like a little bit of a Montessori um, homeschool setup. So we've got it in stations. But this is her um, homeschool area. And she's got books over here and then her bed. And then over in that corner, um, she's got her play kitchen and her dress up stuff and like her little cleaning set. And then this is a size closet. It's got the double doors on it and she, um, we have her toys and puzzles in here and then all of her clothes are in these um, labeled bins and then her hang up clothes are right there. So that was a super cute thing about Sky's room is it actually had two closets. Um, and then this is her TP, like she comes in here and reads and watches her tablet and stuff like that. Um, this is one of the doors to the Jack and Jill bathroom. And then some more size toys. This is kind of her baby area. And then I hung up a mirror here that's like her height. Um, so when she plays dress up, uh, she can see herself and it's super cute. And then this is another closet. It's the same size as the closet in our bedroom and we just use it for storage right now. 
But um, yeah, so that Sky's bedroom, um, it used to be white. And we came back and painted it pink and then it had carpet on the floor and we removed the carpet and we did the floors in here gray. And I think that was all we did to her room was just paint clean and then redo the floors. Mm -hmm. And the dining room, the walls were white in there already. So we just freshened them up and then redid the floors in there. So, and then we'll go to the living room. It's got some medals. She likes being number two. Okay, so this is our living room. Um, this room was one of my favorites um, that we remodeled or redone. Um, there used to be double doors here and we actually removed them because we wanted more of an open flow through the spaces, but there was a carpeting on the floor and we removed the carpeting and did turquoise um, floors. And I don't know if the color comes across well on the camera, but it's super bright and it's one of my favorite things um, that we did. But the walls in here were like a robin's egg blue. So we came back and painted everything white and redid the floors with the turquoise. But um, this couch was a gift from um, one of our neighbors and it fit awesome in this space. And then this is a chair that I um, actually found on the side of the road when we were walking one day and talked to Katie into going and picking it up. So it goes super cute with the area. And then this up here, there used to be, you can probably see it behind there, there were two wall sconces that did not work. So we had an electrician come and had closed those off, I guess you say. Like, yeah, close one and put a little and outlet put, in the other. Yeah, put a plug on the other and we mounted our TV up here above this fireplace. This fireplace was sealed as well, but we removed the cover off of it. And then this fireplace, uh, what is that, tile part, I'm, I hadn't really decided what to do with it yet. So you'll notice this one and the one in our bedroom, we just have this cute little floral runner across the front of it. And then yoga mats here, blankets there. Um, the cabinet doors uh, that I showed up on the mantle in there, this was one of the drawers. The only drawer that Cody could salvage, um, we turned into a cute little side table. So that's original to the house um, along with the doors in there. So we made a cute little side table out of it. And then that mirror was a gift from my grandmother. And then we have our round couch here and then our longer couch there. And then we've got a rug that just sits in the middle. Um, it's great for, we like having the warmth of the rug when we work out or um, do yoga and things like that. And then just a little like stool thing there. And then this uh, was one of the reasons why I love the house. It had this giant built in. Um, it had doors all across the bottom and we removed the doors. It was already painted white. We just freshened it up and then um, all of my bottles that I collect and little knick-knacky things I was able to put on display. Um, these bottles have traveled with us from our original house when we got married 13 years ago. And then I put them in storage uh, when we moved into the tiny house and then brought them with us to the apartment and now they are finally on display um, here. So. All of these little things that you see, the baskets and stuff are thrifted. Um, I keep all of my essential oil supplies here and there and then painting supplies and books and then all of our electronic stuff, um, easy access there and then things we don't use so much are in there. Essential oils and then workout stuff under there. Um, I have this super cute little plate rack right here um, to hang stuff on when we come in and then a coat rack right here that I put my yoga bag and our jackets and uh, that's the door leading outside. Like I said, this room was like an eggshell blue and we painted it white and then redone the floors in here and that was pretty much all we did um, with this room when we moved in besides just cleaning and decorating. So next we will go on to our bedroom. All right, so now we're in our bedroom. Our bedroom is right off of the living room. Um, we hung up this little like keepsake thing here and our plan was like when we went on trips and stuff this year, we would decorate it with the things that we collect and we've really not gone anywhere. So I've got these cute little um, 
Bible verses and biblical quotes, sayings, and stuff up there. Um, and it kind of matches the color theme of our room, so I really like that. But over here, um, this room was white when we moved in, so we just did a coat of paint freshening, freshening it up. But it also had carpet that we removed, and we did these floors gray, um, the same color as Sky's bedroom. So we painted the floors in here. Um, over here in this corner, uh, this was a chair that I found on the side of the road, um, like most of the things that we have. Um, I hung my hats up here, which I love, and then this bedding, we have had this bedding forever. Um, we actually repurchased it a second time, and my goal was to get new bedding eventually, but uh, I just love the mandala print on it. You can buy the same color? Do what? You're going to buy the same one? No, I'm going to buy a different one this time. <laughs> Variety. But so this, um, we found this on the side of the road this weekend. It was a dark brown color and it was in really rough shape. And I sanded it down and painted it green. And this is the same color green that is in the kitchen and um, is now in the bathroom <laughs> um, just from a couple hours ago. So um, this has our clothing in it and I thought it was really cool. We haven't had a dresser since we got married years ago. We've always used little bins for our clothes. So this is the first time we've had a dresser in a long time. And then this fireplace um, was one of the reasons why I love the house. As soon as I saw this fireplace, I knew I wanted to do the brick blue. And I absolutely love how it turned out. We have hangers in there. But um, I love the little ornate uh, wood holder, I guess is what it's called, where the wood goes if you have fire. But Anyways, we did this blue, and I love the little um, runner in here that matches it, and then more of my bottles and gifts from friends, and then my grandmother um, surprised me with this, and this is one of my favorite things in the house. It was the first thing I hung up when we moved in because I loved it so much. Um, and then over here, um, this is where I get ready. Um, I've got a few little bins, and actually these bins are like, there's nothing in them. They're empty. Those have just some odd in things in it. But um, all of these little things I've gotten from thrift stores. Um, and then these are actually just sticks from our yard that I screwed into the wall and then put little painter's nails or craft nails, I think is what they're called, and hung up my necklaces. And then this, this was also another gift um, from my grandmother. But is there many on your little wood things? Um, so they're just, they're literally sticks from our yard that I cut down and then took a um, light sandpaper and I like cleaned them and then sanded them gently and then screwed them into the wall. And then like did the little bitty tack nails in them to hang up my jewelry. Totally a Pinterest seal, but I love the way it turned out. I kind of wanted like a little bit of like a fairy theme to our bedroom, if that's a real thing. <laughs> I got the it's not a real thing. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like a woodland, like fairy, just kind of whimsical. I feel like that's our whole house. Let's use whimsical instead of fairy like. I like fairy like. Anyway, this is kind of our whole house. It's very like boho. Fairy like. Fairy like. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah, that is where I get ready. And this is our bedroom. Um, like I said, we painted and then redone the flooring in here and redone that fireplace and then just did the decor in here and the closet um i'm not going to show our closet because um my underwear is hanging up on the door but um they're just super chill mine's on the thing do i <laughs> Cody. um they're just super chill um just little closets plenty of enough room for us and our things but um and then i'll get the camera from Cody and film the bathroom because it's a super small space it's not really going to work this way in there. So I'll show you the bathroom next. Okay, so this is walking into our bathroom. Um, I've got our shower curtain that we had at our apartment that I love. And then this little towel rack and um, two little baskets that hold washcloths and hand towels. So in here, it was the robin's egg blue that we painted white. And then we redid the floors in here. And we just took the floors that were in the kitchen and the dining room and just moved it into the bathroom. It was easy enough. Um, and then uh, sanded that and it's got, I don't think you can really tell on camera, but it's kind of got like the rough edges to it, which is super cute. 
um, cleaned it up really good. Um, we eventually want to change out the lighting, but we're not sure what we want to do, so we're just leaving it right now. And it's got the cute little mirror. Um, we're thinking about maybe replacing this eventually, but haven't decided. Um, luckily, when we moved in, it had a brand new bathtub and shower in it. And then over here on this wall, our bathroom's really small, so it's kind of hard to show, but this is a giant almost floor to ceiling mirror and i love it i showed it in the original walkthrough but since then we have painted that wall green and that's the same green that is in our bedroom and from the kitchen and then we've just cody framed in the mirror to make it look a little more intentional and i absolutely love the frame around it it's just it just gives it that little added touch. I think super cute. So that is the bathroom. That bed, that door goes to Sky's room. And then this door goes back into our bedroom. So yep, yeah, that is our house since we have done all of our remodeling and um, kind of like our fixing up of the house. Uh, we love we love how everything turned out and could not be happier um, with how it all looks in the end. It was a lot of work, but totally worth it. Um, and I love having my own touches on everything and really seeing like my character and style coming out in the house. That's been one of the coolest things for me personally is being able to put my own touches on everything and having it um, just really represent myself. I didn't realize how much I would enjoy that part of the process because, I mean, we loved living in our tiny house and in the smaller apartment and stuff, but I really, I really didn't realize how much I would enjoy having a house and being able to just put my own spin on everything. But yeah, so that is our house. Um, that's our walkthrough with it being fully furnished after all of the remodel. And we are thrilled with the way that it turned out. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you on our next video.